Logan, you still have time. Logan was released in 2017, directed by James Mangold, and stars Hugh Jackman as Wolverine and Patrick Stewart as Professor Charles Xavier. And you also have Richard E. Grant in this film as well, and I've loved him ever since I saw him in Spice World in the, <laughs> back in the 90s. <laughs> and you also have Stephen Merchant, another British actor, um, and he, uh, he plays Caliban, which is pretty cool. And of course, as a lot of people may point out in my videos, I have a similar accent to Stephen Merchant because I live like 20 minutes up the road from where he's from. I live just up the road from Bristol, which is where he's from, so we all have the similar West Country English accent. So that was its pretty cool to see him on there. He's actually quite a really funny guy. Um, you also have the introduction of Daphne Keane, who's making her film debut as Laura uh, X-23 in this movie as well, and she does a fantastic job. Um, now, Logan is revered by many as one of the best superhero films and i have to say i kind of agree there's only one major drawback i find with the film and i will explain it in a moment now obviously this film took heavy inspiration from the old man logan comic book which i have and have read many times and it is a very good comic book and because of obviously licensing and stuff and if you were going to do that you'd have to you'd have to split that film into a trilogy it would have to be a trilogy of old man logan with everything that happens in it um and I, I don't know how they would get away with having, you know, the incestuous relationship with the Hulk and She-Hulk and then Logan being eaten by Hulk and then bursting out and all that. I, I don't know how, they, <laughs> well, how, how well that would have come across on screen. But um, this film is very well written and very well acted and directed. Um, Hugh Jackman is a phenomenal actor. He does a great job in nearly everything he's in. He is a very talented man and you believe he's logan you believe he is this character this tormented um you, you know he's just fed up with life he's done in um yes he's a little older he's probably about 200 at this point i think and patrick stewart has obviously have a, got a de degenerative brain disease and he is caught having these seizures which is essentially freezing people in place they can't breathe but Logan can fight through it and he's trying to look after Charles and trying to get him a boat so that they can go into the middle of the ocean so his seizures won't affect anybody. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, clones, uh, in a world where mutants have been born for 25 years, um, a company run by uh, Richard E. Grant's character is trying to create we uh, weapons, essentially, by using mutant DNA. And Laura, uh, Laura Kinney, X-23, is a clone from Logan and she basically gets um rescued out of that and now tr this lady is trying to get logan to take her and some of the other kids north to a secret safe haven um now the only thing i'm not a fan of is logan being weaker um i've never been a fan of that even in the wolverine when he has his powers nerfed with that robot thing on his heart i don't like nerfing Logan. Logan is a, is best when he is going insane. When Logan is just slashing people up and angry and going the berserker rage, that is what I love. Um, I know a lot of people probably disagree with me and they like the fact that Logan's weaker in this. He's not healing very well and he's because he gets his ass kicked by. And also did not like X twenty four. I didn't like that 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 plot point where there's a younger um, younger clone of him uh, that's just an animal. I I didn't like that. I thought that was like. A little lazy uh, to have that kind of villain. Like they could have had Omega Red. They could have had. They, they could have brought Sabretooth back. They could have done anything. Um, but I think I just having another clone of Logan fighting Logan because he didn't really fight him. No. He got the shit kicked out of him um, <laughs> because the younger one just absolutely decimates him. Um, but uh, besides those those points, the the Logan being weaker and the X twenty four, the rest of the film is fantastic. Um, it has the, some of the best action in the X-Men franchise, uh, to, to, obviously to date. I don't know what the MCU are going to do. Probably balls it up, but you know they're, they're going to do something. Uh, but it has some of the best Wolverine stuff. Like it begins, with, it starts with an amazing scene of him in his limo and people trying to get the wheel off, and he just, you know, go and ham on him. It's really good. There's some really cool scenes, like in the casino when everybody is frozen like the bad guys and logan is just clawing his way to them the bad guys can see him but they can't do anything and he's just shanking them that is all really cool i didn't really buy the whole um 
I'm not going to mention major spoilers. People already know more than likely, but I'm not going to mention major spoilers of the ending. But the only thing I didn't buy was at some point Laura calls Logan daddy, and I didn't buy that. Um, I have a daughter, I have children, and Logan is nothing but an absolute dick and an asshole to Laura all the way throughout the film. But, uh, essentially, <laughs> so um, I, I I didn't quite buy that. Uh, so. Yeah, it, it is a fantastic film and definitely worth watching. There is a black and white version of the film that you can watch as well. I have it. I don't. I haven't watched it. Um, I watched it on 4K and it looks fantastic. Looks really good and is just a phenomenal story. I am looking forward to seeing um, Hugh Jackman come back as Deadpool and Wolverine. Um, that is very exciting. Uh, but Logan is still a phenomenal movie. But please let me know in the comments down below what you think of Logan. And as always, thank you very much for watching.